We at Elena Blotto Fine Art worked on this house and added soul to the bare white walls. There is large scale sculptures of mine. I want to share with you one secret about this sculpture. <laughs> what do you think about this pantry? <laughs> I think a dream of any lady. <laughs> House owner, successful businessman. He's single, put art here strategically. We have to wrap it up so some secret photos don't get into our video. My friends, we are in a very special property here in Summerlin area in Las Vegas. It is $18 million property, but what is unique about it, there is an art collection that is making it standing out. I would like to invite you to look at it with me. There is a really big variety of decor. We at the Lena Blotto Fine Art worked on this house and added soul to the bare white wall. Let's check it out. See this spacious wide entrance. You probably couldn't understand the scale of it, but I'm gonna stand here. It's just pretty big sofas, but they're almost lost. And then there is a very tall ceiling, it's two-story house. There is art that you can see. If I sit here, I can basically almost sleep here. How wide is it? <laughs> it's for big people. <laughs> If you have not enough space for one seating area, there is a second one, which is just adjacent. It's not far. And this is an amazing design, chairs. I really love it. By the way, check this out. This is like big kitchen, but you don't need to make it dirty because there is another kitchen here. So this is like a butler kitchen. You can prep your food and do all the mess here and uh, nobody gonna see it. Or you can have uh, your chef come and cook food for your guests and then present it beautifully in the main kitchen. And of course, you cannot go without the Dom Perignon. You have to have a selection saved for your party. And by the way, in this house, nobody gonna get hungry. What do you think about this pantry? <laughs> Let's walk to the outdoor area. Let's check out this spacious backyard where a lot of people can fit. Feels like a space for parties. There is a large scale sculptures of mine, a lollipop sweet life and a popsicle. And then there is a pair of uh, white sculptures heads that uh, look really cool. When we showcase them in gallery, sometimes it's hard to understand the scale, they look big, but the fact is that some homes and properties, they're so large that they really require some statement pieces. And when you put them here, they completely don't look uh, large at all. They uh, flow beautifully. I'm back with my sunglasses, so I want to show you the sculptures. So look, there is so much space. The swimming pool is stunning. It's so spacious, large. Definitely, this backyard needed some statement pieces, some color, because here is, everything is neutral. It's a Nevada desert. There is some greenery, but uh, we needed a pop of color. Here is my seven feet popsicle. I uh, love it. I uh, put the same one on the biggest ship in the world, Royal Caribbean, in different color. So whoever has this piece is just a sweet life popsicle. It's uh, really cool. You know, there is one more piece that is hidden. It is uh, specially designed and placed to look from indoors, but we're gonna look at it from outdoors as well. It is uh, my special biggest uh, teddy bear. So it sits outside <laughs> and it looks towards inside. So you can really view and look at it from indoors and it is placed here strategically because this part of the house you don't really spend time here but uh, from indoors it is a really cool big seven feet flower bear what do you guys think about it would you like to have a big teddy bear in your background uh, some common question that i get what about uh, outdoor wear and tear 
And uh, you know, guys, when the um, sculpture is purchased from the gallery, you should uh, keep in mind that um, it is made with care. It has the uh, highest quality materials. We use like the grade, like almost car paint. So it is pretty durable for even this uh, hot sun in Nevada. It could be uh, under rain. It could be sometimes under snow, but it still uh, needs maintenance. You should uh, keep in mind that every like several years, it's good to repaint it. It's normal. This is the, the usual process, how you maintain your outdoor sculptures. So these are cool sculptures that are new to Elena Blatov Fine Art. They are like abstract faces, and I believe we made them in a black and white. So this is white uh, series. Uh, they could go just uh, as a set of two or one, and uh, we place them here looking at each other, but they could be looking opposite from each other. I think uh, they're very cool and uh, modern, and uh, you can see here the silhouette of the face, but from this side is almost like lips. The owner of this home, he had already this uh, chessboard, so they kind of uh, uh, look uh, really nice uh, together uh, because there is a uh, white colors that uh, play with each other. For this particular house that is so neutral, we wanted to add some color and playfulness. So here is this Sweet Life Lollipop, uh, my signature piece. And uh, this is some uh, new edition, new collection that I did recently, just this year. And it is ombre color going from pink to red to yellow. When I started to do them, they were just solid, but uh, I really love the gradient color. And uh, what we do for our customers, because we move sculptures uh, sometimes uh, and um, people want to, preference of their color, I would do custom color or definitely when before we put to people's home, we would re repaint it to have it fresh, completely fresh color. Because as you know, here in Nevada, the sun is so harsh, so we want to put protective layer. I want to share with you one uh, secret about this sculpture. This design went through several iterations because we had to transport this sculpture. And you see how the stick, it is so tall. So yes, I do have uh, three trailers already in our fleet, but uh, when we ship it, it was a special question, how to pack it. So what we did, this stick, it comes out completely out of the sculpture and then um, it's a hollow inside. Um, we can move it um, and my team just puts this, uh, this stick inside when it's transported. The stick is completely separate. I love uh, this sculpture. It could be a center point, but uh, specifically here, there is a kind of a skyline um, that is featured on this home backyard. So we put it here, it catches glimpses of sun. There's a lot of reflection, it's mirror-like, stainless steel, and uh, big spheres that uh, really, really go well with this contemporary home. So now I want to show you the teddy bear from indoors. My son came to this house. He was just amazed by these teddy bears. <laughs> they are big. They are bigger than my four-year-old son, Liam. But what's cool about it, there is a whole collection of teddy bears, but check it out how amazing this sculpture looks. Otherwise, this area would be almost dead. And then there is like pink surprise here. <laughs> would you like to have a teddy bear sitting there and greeting you behind your window? I think it's pretty cool. I would like to check out the upstairs of this house. It's a two-story home. So let's see what we positioned in the living room and in the bedrooms. Oh, I forgot this sculpture. <laughs> because this house has so many amazing spacious uh, places, we decided to put some outdoor sculpture for indoors. This area of the home, that it is very close to the entrance, under the stairs, it's also kind of a very tricky area. What you can put here, like mini office or an art statement piece. Look at this Rubik's Cube. The house is all white. This art just transforms the space. Don't you agree with me? Good idea to mix uh, colorful art uh, with uh, some uh, neutral minimalist pieces in some areas. This is optical illusion painting. If you look at it, it's tricking your eyes. You need to stand 
further from it, but it's great for this spot. It's kind of neutral and doesn't take attention from Rubik's Cube. But let's go upstairs and check out what art did we put in the upper level of this house. So we are still in the main living area, but there is an atrium. The house, when you enter, features really tall ceilings that you can look down and see all the seating area. This is a passage here that we decorated and we put art here strategically. For example, what we had to think about when we placed these art pieces. They are seen from downstairs because uh, you can sit on the sofa and see these pieces. They are black and white, so they're not super bright, but they are still, because of their like black elements, they still stand out. Then the wall is really, really large. We had option to put um, either like one huge abstract or we decided to put series. These are ladies' silhouettes. They're almost like out of the shower, I guess. But they're sexy vibe. And actually this passage leads you to the private quarters of the home, to the bedrooms. One more piece that we put here is a screw art. This colorful art piece from Screws is made by Effie Mashia and it's really great spot for this art piece. Why do I think so? It's because it's very 3D art piece. While you walk around, you can appreciate all the levels of the screws and colors and texture. So it's really great spot while you're walking to another bedroom, your master bedroom, where you go every day. You're gonna get to enjoy this art piece. house owner he's a successful businessman he's single so <laughs> you can see there is a lot of ladies i guess paintings very party vibe sexy vibe here in this house you can see very nice black and white images he just really loves drama and some black and white paintings there is a lady here there is another lady behind with different uh, forms with the uh, almost photographic style of painting with a beautiful human form. Oh, who is here? Svetlana, my sister. Hi. Hi. I wanted to show you this amazing house wow. because we have so much art. Are you excited to see it? Yes, I'm super excited. I already love everything around it. Let's go check out what we put in other bedrooms because this is such a private space. So you want something calm on one hand, on the other hand, uh, something interesting. There is another Buma here. Check out this private spot. I think a dream of any lady. <laughs> If you're a busy lady, private salon in your house. I like selection of this painting. There is a massage room, so you relax, you kind of think about your senses, and this is very sensual painting. Wow, super nice to have a couple's massage or get together with your girlfriend and make a massage and relax. I think there is like two types of saunas here. Yes. Basically, you don't really need to leave this house at all. You just have everything here. <laughs> this is, would be my choice for sauna. <laughs> Dry one. <laughs> Which one do you prefer, guys? Guys, do you hear this music? We are on the second floor. I'm walking through all the rooms and it's amazing, amazing sound because the sound system in this house is just immaculate. There is a perfect like music. Party everywhere. Everywhere, any corner of this house. Oh, look, this is your piece, Elena. Yes, this is my abstract. I did it specially for this house because I saw how the owner of the house, he liked black and white and he had everything figurative. And what we do when we decorate house, you want different variety. He didn't have many abstracts, so I created this piece. And then we encounter another colorful artwork 
It's our Buma project. It's very popular right now. Take uh, iconic images from very famous uh, artists like uh, Liechtenstein or Warhol embedded in this style with these dots, with these lines. So, and it is a newly created piece, but it features some kind of you know, tribute some, to some famous painting. Some customers really wanted to have this artwork on their wall, but they can't because it's just so big and we don't make this artwork in a small size. And then there is another passage here that features 3D work of Effi Mashiach, a colorful lenticular prints that have three mm -hmm. paintings in one. Let's check it out. Let's go to the next oh, area. Oh, look at this room. Okay, this is kind of sporty corner. Everything here with balls, with different memorabilia, or memorabilia. <laughs> so there are signatures of the some athletes. And then uh, we put Jordan Life, King Love, uh, very, very fun uh, shoe painting here with a drip of color. I know the owner has a son who is around 20 years old. He doesn't live here full time, but it is a place where he stays when he comes from college. Finally, you can see a little bit of street from this house. Yeah, not a bad view. I think at nighttime it's even better. Well, this house definitely offers a lot of privacy. So look at this painting, it's also there is 3D, there is a street style with Marilyn. Very fun for young boy to be in this room with his artwork. So what do you guys think about this house? Would you love to live in such a spacious, big house? Or is it too big for you? What do you think the most importantly about the art that we placed here? Share with me in the comments. I'm truly interested and uh, let me know. Thank you for making this tour of yeah. this house with me. It was so much fun. It looks like the party is starting in this house, so yeah. let's go and just have fun. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're almost done with the shoot. We're wrapping up because there is right now another shoot happening in this house. There are top 30 finalists for Playboy Bikini Contest here from Las Vegas. So we have to wrap it up so some secret photos don't get into our video. <laughs>